Good morning, everybody. How are you? The balancing act is hitting the road once again. This week's destination, Nashville, Tennessee. My co-host Christy Villa takes you behind the scenes at the Seven Women Show. We'll also be joined once again by some friends with a very powerful message. And we'll introduce you to some new friends who have some nutritional news we can all use. Plus, we'll have a very special surprise. Shh, don't give it away. The balancing act starts right now. I'm Danielle Knox here at our Balancing Act studios. All right, let's get right to it. All right, we want to send it out to our co-host, Christy Villa, who's hanging out with a great group of new friends she's made at the Nashville Convention Center. Good morning to you, Christy. Good morning, Danielle. I got to tell you, we're having a great time, but what's the surprise you're talking about? Do you all know what she's talking about? <laughs> Nashville is unbelievable. I've got so many things to show you, but first we want to get a quick check of the weather with our man, meteorologist Mark Mancuso. Good morning, sir. tell you one of the best parts of traveling with the Southern Women's Show is going to so many great places around the country and we're obviously here in Nashville and it's a fabulous city and it's also about meeting you guys you ladies out here you know here in Nashville it's always always a honky-tonk a good time good morning the Southern Women's Show is now open <laughs> Stacey Abernathy, and I'm the executive show manager for the Southern Women's Show here in Nashville. You know, this is our 26th year here in Nashville, and women love it. They came perhaps as young teenagers and are now bringing their children here. Whether you are into health and fitness or cooking, it's all here under one roof. We're really excited that this year we have a collection of dresses that Princess Diana wore. It's just a good day. It's all about the girls here in Nashville. Too much fun. Now, we're going to have more on the Princess Diana exhibit a little bit later in the show. But here's a fun fact about Nashville. Did you know that there are 27 bars playing live music every single day of the week? It's absolutely amazing. I loved being there. Nashville is no doubt the home of country music. But as I found out, it's also the home of some unique shopping destinations. And this woman here loves to shop. Hi, Laurel. Hi, Christy. So nice to meet you. Nice Welcome to Nashville. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. Well, we are in the 12 South neighborhood, known for great eclectic shopping. <gasps> this is Moda. Welcome. Wait a minute. This looks like a house. No. This is one of the great things about this area of town. Great little eclectic boutiques, great shopping, something you're going to find here that you won't see anywhere else. I love shopping. <laughs> this is Claire. Hi. Good morning. Good nice to meet you. Tell me about this place. I love it here. Well, we specialize in up and coming designers. We have lots of very different stuff that you won't find anywhere else in Nashville. We fit a lot of country music stars. Well, can I feel like a country music star today? Of course. Today? Got lots in store, let's go. Hi, I'm Quana. Hi, I'm Amy. We're from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Don't go anywhere. There's more to come on the Balance Act. the Southern Women Show here in Music City, Nashville. I've got an amazing crowd with me this morning, and I gotta tell you guys, you guys not only have shopping, you guys don't only have wonderful music, you guys have some of the hottest men I've ever seen in my life, too. But you know what? Nashville is also famous for its food, and we went to a delicious, delicious barbecue place with a southern twist. 
Welcome nice. to Edley's. Thank you so much. I got to tell you, you know, when I heard barbecue, I went, well, wait a minute. I'm from South Florida, and I'm used to rice and black beans. <laughs> yeah. I want good old-fashioned barbecue. Tell me what's so good about it. Well, you came to the right place. We're very new, about four months open here, we're having a good reaction, and now we're going to make some food. Okay, so what are we going to cook? Uh, first, we're going to do southern nachos. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Nachos? Nachos. I'm Hispanic. Nachos are Mexican. Uh, we put a southern uh, twist on them. Ooh, nice. So basically, what we start with is a home-style chip. We fry those up. We put pork on top. Oh smoke my Smoke pork, smoke for 14 hours. Ooh, low cow, put right? there. Oh, very low cow. <laughs> and then I'm gonna let you put the barbecue sauce on top. Oh, I'll be your you're salsa gonna, girl? You're saucing it. Stripe it all over. Okay. Then we're gonna take our homemade pico de gallo. Ooh, pico de gallo. And then I'm gonna let you put the sour cream on top and you can just stripe it back and forth however much you like. I have to have hot jalapenos. Oh, I know. They, they, they really set it off. Oh, are you kidding? So they set off everything. Some jalapenos all over the top here. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Delicious. I told you. Delicioso. Oh my gosh, it's good. And we got some other dishes too. Here's a famous sandwich we make. It's a brisket sandwich with an over easy egg, white and red sauce. And we have a house made pimento cheese underneath here. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's very good. People love it. We'll take that to go. And this is another uh, appetizer we have. It's uh, southern uh, fried okra. Definitely need to try some of those. We'll take yes. that to go. And southern style pickles. Southern style pickles? Yep, these are famous. You definitely need to try one of these. Oh my gosh, deep fried pickles. Never heard about that. Oh. Very good. Like them? Mm -hmm. Good. Unbelievable. Awesome. Love it. I want to cheer to Nashville. Cheers. To barbecue. Cheers. Moonshine margaritas. Woo Ooh. Well, you know, it's five o'clock somewhere. everyone you know in today's active world and we've got so many things going on right ladies yes it's so important to get the right diet the exercise and the nutrition we need and on top of that the right supplements as well so today I've got two fabulous guests that are going to talk to me this morning about why it's so important to get the right things in our fabulous bodies to my left is Cindy Neckman CEO of Altriant and another special guest, Cheryl Brost, an extremely fit lady. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Christy. Thanks for having us here. Listen to this, ladies. She has been recognized, and I'm going to read it here, as one of the 10 fittest women in the world. I mean, hello. So tell me, uh, nutrient supplements, really important to you, right? Very important. I participate in CrossFit, and the CrossFit community does a great job of educating their participants and athletes about the value of nutrition every day. And so they prescribe basically that we eat a real high quality food diet, try to avoid all the processed foods that are out there. With the high quality foods, they also encourage us to have high quality supplements. And that's where Altrant comes in for me. Thank you, Cheryl. Cindy, let me bring you in. I honestly have never tried it, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because I kind of assume, you know, I wake up in the morning and I have a glass of OJ. Anybody have orange juice in the morning? And I kind of figure I'm getting my vitamin C. But you know, it's, it's just not enough, is it, Cindy? No, most of us really never consider when we have that one glass of orange juice in the morning, if that's giving us a daily dose of vitamin C that's high enough. So at Altrian, we feel that you need much, much more vitamin C than the recommended daily allowance. So what we do at Altrian is we make high performance nutrients that get to where the body needs it most. We're using a special technology called liposome encapsulation delivery. Those are some big words. We just call it LED for short. And what that does is it allows smart little tiny bubbles to cross through the stomach acid, enter inside of our cells where they deliver the nutrient. And whenever you're getting the proper supplementation, your whole outlook on life can change. It's not just a physical manifestation of it, it actually can be mental too. Cheryl, I wanna end with you because you, um, you challenged some pretty serious athletes here in Nashville. Tell me about that. Yes, we had a challenge and we brought some athletes in from Memphis, as far as Memphis, and we had a great workout. We had 60 minutes and in that 60 minutes, we did seven workouts. It was tons of fun. Oh, gosh. You go, girl. You are impressive. Thank you so much. Well, congrats to you. You are amazing. Cindy, thank you so much for the information. Lots of fun. And I think, you know, we should all give it a try. Maybe we'll feel a little better in the future, yes? And if you want more information on this fabulous supplement, you go to altriant.com. 
I'm Lee from Nashville. Hi, I'm Aileen from Nashville. The fun continues at the Southern Women's Show. You're watching The Balancing Act on Lifetime Television. Welcome back. Danielle Knox here at the Balancing Act Studios, and we hope you really are enjoying this morning's show from beautiful Nashville. Now, if you are like me, you remember exactly where you were when you heard the news about Princess Diana's death. One woman has put together an exhibit on Diana, and in it, she has some of Diana's most memorable dresses. She joins Christy now for a behind-the-scenes look. Take it away, ladies. You know, Danielle, I gotta tell you, I remember exactly where I was when Princess Diana died. I was in Phoenix, Arizona. I was glued to the TV set, watching her untimely and unfortunate death. And with me this morning is Maureen Dunkel. She is the owner of this exhibit. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us here. Oh, my pleasure. I gotta tell you, I, I know you probably remember exactly where you were also, right? Absolutely. So many people do. I hear it all the time. Tell me about the exhibit. It's very special. I got to see it. The ex I was always intrigued by Diana's iconic status, and so we built an exhibition that really takes you on a journey through her life, so you get to understand how she became the most photographed person in the world and beloved by billions, literally, and, and people come out and they really understand the story better. And, of course, it adds context to the dresses. And the dresses are just exquisite. They were made for a princess. Why is she still so remembered? I really feel it's her relatability. You know, Diana embodied the collision of fantasy and reality a yes. royal princess living out some very normal circumstances on a global stage and she really captured many people's hearts in the way she handled it and everything she went through and I really think the relatability is what keeps the crowds coming 15 years later. She did it with such grace and style. Absolutely. Thank you for keeping her memory alive. Appreciate it. And now we'd like to say thank you, a very special thank you to a group of vendors here at the Southern Women's Show in Nashville for funding a day of cancer research. Hi, my name is Roberta Cordelson, and I have a company about four years ago I started called Cottage House Botanicals. I lost my husband to cancer nine years ago to leukemia. No matter what happens in this form of cancer or whatever this disease wants to do to our bodies, you never give up hope. My name is Timelin Atkins, and I am with Genovia Coffee. I'm a coffee diva. I am here today to demand a cure for cancer in honor of a family member of mine, a first cousin, who is still surviving after five years. The fight is long, the fight is hard, but as long as we continue to do this together, one day we will have a cure for cancer. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone. You know, Lynette, just to hear everyone talking in those powerful messages, it just gives you so much hope that we will beat this disease. Absolutely. We're so grateful to the vendors here in Nashville. And yeah, we all need hope. You don't ever, ever let anybody take your hope away. And I'm not sure if you all know this, but one in four people will get cancer in their lifetime. So it's still very serious. But there's a lot of research going on. And because of all that research, there's another word that we're talking about this morning. And that word, of course, is hope. And that's why I am so honored to have once again this wonderful lady who's been traveling with us throughout our entire Balance Your Life Road Tour. You know how much I love you, Lynette and Visconti. You? She is the president of the Gateway for Cancer Research. Welcome back once again. Thank you. It's nice to be here in Nashville. You know, when we talk about the word hope, hope is so important with the fact that you have to have that hope to beat the disease. And I have Absolutely. family members that never gave up on that hope. But on top of that, Patients and people want to see results, don't they, Lynette? Absolutely. I'm so proud of the organization that I work for, the Gateway for Cancer Research, where we demand cures today. And we fund research all over the world designed to help patients feel better, live longer, or be cured. And we fund in three areas because this is what patients tell us they want. They want us to do research in complementary and alternative therapies. They want us to do research in new drug discoveries, and they want us to take existing drugs that aren't being used in cancer and try them in cancer so that we can get new treatments faster. That's what we do every single day. Love that. And, you know, it's, it's no doubt we have to recognize that traditional research is important, but also thinking outside of the box, and you've taught me that. Absolutely, that's kind of my mantra, isn't it? Well, when we think outside the box, and especially if we have stage four cancer or a serious disease like cancer, we want our doctors and we want our researchers to think differently and creatively on our behalf. And we look for doctors and physicians and clinicians like that who think creatively and out of the box. 
And we also look for people like you. We can't do it without people like you and people even all over the Southern Women's Show. The response has been amazing. The response here has been wonderful. We are so grateful for all of you. And I don't want to put you on the spot, but I just absolutely adore you. You are a survivor. And I just want you just briefly to tell everybody out here, whoever may be fighting the disease right now, or maybe you know someone that is, as I do, someone very special in my family, you never give up on hope, and you never have. You never give up on hope. As a 14-year cancer survivor, I will tell you, don't ever, ever, ever let anybody take your hope away. Never. Thank you so much. If you want more information on Lynette, the organization, it's a great website to visit. It's demandcures.org, and we will find a cure. Absolutely. Hi, I'm Becky from Hendersonville, Tennessee. Hi, I'm Mary Beth from White House, Tennessee. My mom and I are having a great time here in Nashville at the Southern Women's Show. And you're watching The Balancing Act on Lifetime TV. All right, Christy, this place is going to blow you away. Uh, Unique no. to Nashville. I'd like you to meet Nathan <laughs> of KDK. Hey, how are you? I got to tell you, I walked in here and I was speechless. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's a different kind of shop. Uh, yeah. Is. She brought like the burlesque movement over here? She did. Well, the burlesque scene, they make their own costumes. And uh, it's like back in the 30s and 40s when the women would cover themselves with balloons and pop one at a time. It, it's more of a, it's sort of a tease performance <laughs> of sorts. <laughs> Uh, so tell me some of the things you sell here. We do a little bit of everything. We have 1940s Hollywood style Western wear, some vintage clothes, vintage boots. You want to give it a shot? What do you think? Girlfriend, you did good. I did too. Oh my gosh, I have had such a blast. I feel like a, a new fun. woman. I think my husband's gonna like this. I think he will too. I love you, girlfriend. Oh, thank you. Thank you. See you at home, darling. So much fun this morning, and I've got to thank Laurel Bennett from the Nashville CVB. It's been a blast so far. Ah, thanks, Christy. A great show, by the way, and it looks like everybody really had a great time out there in Nashville. And speaking of great times, we know that you are celebrating something really special this week. Didn't I tell you all it was my birthday? I tell everybody it's my birthday. All of us here wanted to take a moment to let you know that we are thinking of you, we love you, so we had something very special delivered. What? Our sister show, Designing Spaces, is up next on Lifetime Television. Ooh, I love this. I'm going to lick a candle. Closed captioning of the Balancing Act is brought to you by Hamilton Captel.